Yo, what is up guys? My name is Eric Gaddick, and we're here with another update. Level 30. We're almost 31. I wanted to do an update right at 30 though, so before pushing any further, here we are. Anyway, so let's look at events. I updated, I think already I mentioned that we did the Hero Summoning event. We got through that. We plowed right through it. It was not hard. We went through 40 shards, um, crystals. The gear collection is starting in seven days. We're looking forward to that hero promotion. We are going to be setting up and uh, we're setting up for it right now, obviously. And energy cost, like this is going to be natural. Uh, how long do we have for this? Till the 24th? Yeah, we should be able to do this because we play pretty consistently. If we don't, I'm pretty sure we'll at least get to the summoning crystal. Is there some good rewards? The Stardust thing? That's the thing I wanted to quickly brush up on. So Stardust is in the limited summon. I don't know when you should really be using this. Because I think you get these from um, selling or getting rid of dupes maybe? Or just the same ones. I'm not quite sure exactly. But until I'm the type that likes to build up my box. So it's not going to... Yeah, as I'm building up my box, it's not going to really affect me yet until down the line. Um, I realized that Sierra is actually, we did pull her, but she's also somebody that you work towards. I don't know how she is yet, but I'm not going to uh, build her up quite yet. We're going to wait on that because right now, let's check one quick second. You are shivering with fear. We got our team still of... Um, Hedrisia, Nathalia, we've got Kane and Myla. Uh, so, something to note is that we have got Nathalia up to 60. I love her. I actually really, really adore her. So, whoever had told me to work on her, absolutely adore it. Thank you. Um, with her, our glyphs are now up to Devil Guide, level 5. And uh, we haven't started Mythic yet. I'm not quite sure. We're definitely going to start working on it, but we just haven't had the time to. I haven't had the time to. There's been other stuff going on. We do have a Ascension thing for this. I don't know how rare these are going to be. So that's something I'm kind of chilling on. I'm thinking it's probably going to be going to her because it seems like there's rarity versions of it. So this one only goes to epics, for example. But something to note is that it doesn't look like it actually goes to the light versions. So I'm, the Ascension material is a little interesting to me. Let me see one sec, is it? Yeah. So it seems like it's epics and light dark is probably a separate one. And then obviously legendary is its own type of bag. Uh, our food situation's okay. It's not the greatest. How much, um, how much jelly are we looking at? We're at 712. We're going to keep stockpiling that up. As for magic pass, we're up to 36. We're not going to be spending any money on this account. I decided... I want to keep it free to play, see how far we go. We're at 6,600 gems, which is also really, I, I think it's respectable, right? Uh, given the fact that we're not spending any money. Uh, we go over here, Diamond Shop, it just reset. Um, for its weekly, so we bought out the Advanced Summoning Crystals, the 100 for each. We bought this, the 4 Star Holy Pumpkin, and every day we are going to keep doing the meal coupon, the 2 meal coupons for 30 diamonds. It definitely is worth it in the long run now i had been using meal coupons regularly but then somebody messaged me and said hey maybe you should hold off on that because they might be adjusting the meal coupons because they already have lowered the price of it they might increase the amount of energy we get as well i don't know if that's true or not but if you've heard about this let me know i didn't really find any information otherwise saying so but for now i am gonna kind of hold off I can just use gems because that's what the idea of using gems is for in the first place. So I'm just going to use gems to refill my energy for a bit. Uh, gold shop. I, I'm i not sure why you wouldn't, but I just buy out the gold shop the first six slots at least. Uh, these I look at, but you, generally speaking, they're not usually worth it. 120k, let's see. 
Uh, attack 5% defense, defense speed. Actually, these are okay. Five star legendaries, I'm going to. Because money doesn't seem to be much of an issue. And gear is. Uh, again, diamond shop, we're chilling. Guild vault, we are up to 720. Not is still not sure yet on this what i should be purchasing here if you've purchased anything and you don't regret it let me know what you are spending it on i kind of want to save up and use that for yolanda but then what if you summon her is it worth using all of your currency for her not sure maybe i should just keep saving and saving until i can really decide down the line arena shop we're up to 520 i've been really trying to stay on top of arena because i every single time i do one of these updates i just look at myself and i'm upset because i'm at capped so let's see real quick seven out of ten nice okay uh, a little bit a little bit of a, a little heart skip there but yeah so I am pushing this. There was more of an incentive to have done it. I think it's over now, but we did have um, the arena event going on, Glory Path. And the rewards you get for it are pretty nice because we got a summoning shard, a four star pumpkin, and 20k gold. Uh, again, gold does not seem to be an issue yet in this game for me, but that could always change over time. The daily amount of energy you get in this game seems very well done. Um, I can't complain yet. Bonuses, we're sitting at 727. Our backpack, uh, we have some more of these we could consume, but we're just chilling on them. Now, these advanced summoning ones, elite, epic, or legendary you get from them. I think... I'm going to hold off, but I believe we could use these four summoning events down the line in lieu of the uh, summoning crystals but i don't remember seeing them listed so if you've used them during that that's another thing please let me know if it counts towards that i'm going either way i'm not going to open them until then and to see if it adds towards the event total if that makes sense but yeah we went down to 40 meal coupons we're back up to 68 we're going to keep chugging along that our matrixes Something I don't fully understand about matrixes that I'm still kind of get it grasping is with um, guild, for example. So I hate having like the little red dot that's like do something for us. And so, anyways, I have to do it. So here are matrix requests. It tells you what to do here, and uh, it doesn't seem like you could just say no without getting rid of the red. But um. The matrixes seem kind of tough to come by, which I wouldn't have expected because, let's see, matrix. There's a lot of characters, right? And I've been playing for a little bit now, and some of these characters aren't really the best. Like, take Cece, for example. I own one of this, but we need 40 for her. I, I don't know if there's another source of it. I mean, I can't complain because it's a free character, right? This is just a background thing. But, um... At the same time, you know, it's a little lackluster, but it, it is what it is. Except the guild thing kind of is annoying with the red thing, so I'm just going to constantly be, you know, trading out matrixes, which is probably just my own OCD issues. We get these from the, uh, uh, let's see real quick, dungeon endless trial, which I still have to do. So we finished level 50 of the endless uh, trial, which is pretty good and you can redo these you just don't get the one-time clear reward uh which i did not know at first so we still will go when you go through it i don't want to do that because i'm gonna I'm, i think i'm gonna try the 60 maybe no i'm probably not ready for that i probably will do the 50 but going through the yeah let's do 50 for now just to see enter it the endless trial is really really good and I skipped one week, I think, of it, and I regret that. So make sure you're doing this every week because I try my best to aim towards stuff that's going to help outside of the trial. So when you go through here, you can challenge these guys. All right, real, real quick, you grab an artifact. Uh, 25 defense and deflect. That's just something that's steady. We can do the battle here. This will reward us with these. These do not carry over. I was hoping that they did uh, per week, but they don't. 
in the black market vouchers, they are used here for whatever you want here. Um, this is all trial stuff. And otherwise you get like the trial tokens, which can be used outside and the gold coins. However, in this situation, it might be smarter to go for here because I'm probably going to put my foot in my mouth here by doing this, but just grab a random one, not going to probably use her. You obtain one matrix chest. So I feel like, so we could have gotten the gold, right? We could have gotten the trial tokens, but if we went this way, we get the matrix chest. I think that's better. The rare artifact is going to reset every week. So there's no real point for that in my opinion. But if we go to that, sure, grab the matrix chest. That's how we get our matrixes. If we go to the coin purse, which uh, it can give us gold or it can give you diamonds. So I always try going for the coin purse as well. And I think for free to play, you probably should be doing that. If, it is, if there's a different route that you guys are thinking, then by all means, tell me and I'll try it. See how that goes. But this is what's working for me so far because the trial shop, it's nice. I'm building it up naturally though already. And I don't feel like I have to really go out of my way for this. However, in the end, it probably equals out to about the same value. But I just want, I'd rather have the chance of having the matrixes and the uh, diamonds from currencies over the trial tokens. However, looking here now you do get this summoning crystals in here which is the epic or legendary summon and you do have this which is for um nathalia for example which let me know if i should be doing it into nathalia because right now i am definitely leaning towards nathalia but i am somebody that likes to hoard and wait because the first one base attack bonus 15 percent isn't that great to me however the ascension 2 on the trait does seem good. So if I had two, I would definitely be using it right now. Uh, otherwise, yeah, so this is Glyph 5, Glyph 5, Glyph 5, and Myla. We're still working on getting her up. We have two more here. Um, I'm just doing natural energy right now. I don't want to be doing refreshes until there's an event. The energy event is nice, but we're definitely going to reach that without needing to refresh. And it, just holidays are going on. There's no real reason to overdo it, you know? Don't burn yourself out when you don't have to. Something I really, really hope that they add, though, is that we can change this character here into a... Uh, character that we own or have some one of our characters sitting down at the benches that changes out something that makes it seem more yours like more custom to you uh that'd be cool same with the uh portraits i'd love to see more work on the portraits these are small things that i think the game over time will get but would love to see sooner rather than later uh summon every day we get something you do the free summon we did get who was it we got ice shall rule this land we just got today this guy jonathan so another question i guess to throw out there is do you have jonathan have you built him up should i build him up he is a um water so again i am getting all of these water types and i just I don't know if I really should be over investing past a core team of water. Jonathan seems pretty good, but he's kind of sitting on the side because I do think that either Ciara, Ciara, because she's, you know, legendary and Phantas no would be better water types to invest in first. However, Jonathan looks great and we still have to work on our other teams, which again, just going to work on foodies next hero promotion. We're going to decide on where we'll go from there. As for the arena, we're going to keep pushing that our quests. What are we looking at? Our rewards. We're going to make sure to do our day five hours left. I, I got to do this actually still, but, um, we've been clearing this every time we can weeklies, obviously getting through them always making sure we do them 
As for adventure again, mythic, we are not started yet. Bounty hunt, we did pass 37, 38. I have not tried yet. We're probably going to try to hit to 40. I think that will probably unlock the next level of um, the tavern. Unless we're already maxed up to the tavern, but I don't think that's the case. And one more thing I want to point out here. Oh, Void Tower. I do want to keep pushing Void Tower. If we passed 50 and then I kind of sat on it. Uh, where have you guys gotten to in Void Tower? Because I feel like we might be able to get pretty far now. I, I don't think we'd be able to fully clear it. But we might be able to get into 70s. Maybe 80. Maybe. If we're, if we're lucky. We're definitely not going to be able to do it on auto, but... You know, and uh, Gemini Dragon, I, I need to get my guys up more because I really want to grind this, but I'm struggling a little bit with this one. I don't know if I should just keep farming Ash Magisteria to get my guys out with that gear and then push to Gemini, or if maybe another area, maybe go for the um, Queen of Tides equal amount. I know I'm going to struggle with Roaring Tulpa, but you know. These are all things that are just currently on the log to do. And uh, otherwise, that's pretty much where we're at. We're just waiting for the next events. And I'm still really loving the game. There's nothing that I can fully say that's a negative about it. It's not overtaking my time. And it's not something that I feel like I can't play when I want to. Which is good. It's a good balance. It definitely, definitely is a good balance. Uh, one thing is I would like to see the guild have a little bit more, maybe it's just, it's probably just my, the guild that I'm in, but I might be changing guilds. So if you have a guild that's a little bit more active, maybe a discord, I would love to join it because I'd like to have the community. I'd like to have a little bit more communication, you know, um, I play, uh, Raid Shadow Legends and we have a, I have a discord there and I play RuneScape discord there. Dead by Daylight. I play a bunch of different games all the time, and I have Discord. I like having communities, so the guild feels very antisocial. And it does look like people are starting to leave the guild because probably there's a lack of um, socialization. However, let's see the leader. One day ago, I'm. They they're probably they're probably playing pretty much a lot, but hopefully. I can find one that has a little bit more social. Maybe I'll make my own if I can. But anyways, this is just the next update for the level 30 update. Nothing too uh, crazy, but I want to have one at 30 going forward. Next one will be during the next events, which will be in like five days probably. Right? So three days this will finish. Of gear collection, seven days here. Promotion somewhere around four or five days from now. We'll decide on what characters we have. But yeah, I hope you have a great day. Thank you um, again for stopping by and, uh, you know, happy holidays, friend.